Hello scrapbooky friends and thank you for joining me for another process video. So today's layout is for my collaboration with the lovely Moira O'Reilly. It's the background basics 16 collaboration that we do on the 16th of every month and the idea is to create our own background using our tools. So stamps, stencils, punches, dies, pens, paints, anything like that, your tools. Just really, you know, one layout a month to try and get those tools used rather than just using sort of pre-printed pattern paper as much as we do absolutely love our pre-printed pattern paper. So in honour of the occasion I am doing a double page spread and um, it's these four photos of um, my mum and myself at the Monkey Haven attraction here on the Isle of Wight and it was during Valentine's week so it's going to be quite a heavy or a heart heavy not a heavy heart a heart heavy layout so what I've done is I've created my base the, I've formed the base of my double page spread by using red cardstock mounted and then I've mounted yellow textured cardstock onto the top of that and I've trimmed that down slightly to create a frame the frame is wider at either side here because I have um, pushed the papers together in the middle here. I could have um, centred them separately on each page or I could have um, trimmed slightly less off this side of the yellow paper. But I actually like this look. So this is the look that I do sometimes go for with that slightly wider margin here. Than, than on the top and the bottom. So that's four, four by six photos. I've got these two tags here from my stash that I've set with um, two, not eyelets, sorry, I haven't set them, they're brads. So brads from my stash that I've popped through those there just for a little and the extra texture. And interest, I've got a tassel here. I've got some flare pieces here. I've got some um, glitter domes and little gem pieces here. I've got a... This is from the Simple Stories Colour Vibe Red Foam Alpha Set and I've actually, I'm creating the title with that as well. I've got a few stamps here from my stash, mostly heart stamps here, just different stamps from different sets. So whenever I get, if I get a stamp set and it's got a heart in it or a paw or a star, then I tend to pull those individual pieces out and, and, and keep them together for it, for whenever I need to use stars or hearts or paws because they tend to appear in sort of, sets that you know are related to other things so it's not all going to be hearts another flare piece there some bramble fox pieces here and a wood owl there and some more bramble fox little hearts there so it's going to be a uh what I'm, my idea is to stamp hearts on the background and i'm thinking of doing that in tone on tone so i've got this lovely distress ink in mustard seed that my lovely friend uh, scrappy Cathy sent to me. I've also got this red archival ink in carnation red but what I'm thinking of doing is doing the tone on tone all around the page with just the yellow and that's the background that I'm going to create. Um, I don't think you can quite see, I'm not sure if you can, my title here is going to be Gorilla, Gorilla Hugs um, and that I'm, I think I'm going to place that across here. So um, I think I'll start off with this heart here and what I thought I might do is just scatter what i'm going to do is scatter these hearts around here somewhere actually although i said look, i'm going to start there i think i won't start with actually creating the background <laughs> that would be a good idea so originally i was thinking i might do a couple of little clusters of hearts here as the here as the like the background but then i thought well maybe i'll just go crazy and do them everywhere so let's go shall we you can see them. I did do a little test underneath my tags here. I don't know if you can see, but I did a little test. And I'm going to do it that way that I shouldn't really do it. And that's with my finger. <laughs> it's always a little bit dangerous doing it this way because, um, you know, the stamp can fall on the page and then leave a mess, which I, I have actually done that before. <laughs> but I find it easier to do it this way, partly because my stamping blocks are a little bit old and ragged. And uh, yeah, they don't, oh, you can't always see through them. So I'm not worrying about where I'm stamping at the moment. I'm not worried if it doesn't give you a full image. I'm just going to go crazy. And it doesn't matter if these things get covered up, which some of them probably will with um, the embellishments and the title. So I'm just going to use all different hearts that I've got in my stash and just randomly stamp them around the page. Obviously, um, the Distress Ink, well not obviously, but if you know Distress Ink, it does work slightly different to other inks, as in the fact that it is a little bit rustic. It doesn't give like a crisp finish. 
it gives it's intended to give more of a rustic sort of you know ragged finish and that's fine because I quite like that that's that one done so I've said already that these little heart stamps come from all different um, stamp sets uh, yeah just random planner stamp sets or, or even um, just stamp sets that have just got a random odd heart in them now this one that I'm doing now yeah it just fell on the page I had a feeling that was going to happen because it's one that I've used a lot it's quite old and um, it's not it doesn't really stick to my finger so we'll see how that goes I might just do um, not not do as many of that one I might not stamp that as much it seems to be okay at the moment so we'll just go for it so yeah today I'm using stamps as my um, tool like I said already you can use whatever you like we like to use stent we like to use our stencils we like to use our dies and our punches and I, I particularly love stamping I also like using the other items but uh, yeah today it's going to be stamping oh I'm liking the way this looks already with all the different heart shapes So it was Valentine's week, I think I said that at the beginning. It was Valentine's week at the Monkey Haven where we were. So um, the big griller here that greets you as you walk in um, as, was decorated for Valentine's week with a little heart around his neck. I think maybe at Christmas he has like a Santa hat, you know. I think they do different things. And of course it is a way to spread, um, you know, awareness of the sanctuary because they ask people to post on social media and things like that, you know, with a hashtag and everything. So yeah, it's a clever idea. I don't think he's got a name. I'm not sure, but of course, you know, I named him Elvis. <laughs> Everything gets named Elvis in my world. <laughs> right, that's that one done. I've got a couple. Well, I've got quite a few actually. I think I might go for it as I've got them all out. This one here has not been used before, so that's good. Came from a stamp set that's, uh, you know, I've probably used other stamps in the set, but just not the heart. It's always good to add, put ink to something. It's always good to put ink to a stamp that's not been used before. There are obviously, in when you get a set of stamps, you, there's always probably going to be one or two that may not get used, may not be relevant to what you do. But uh, yeah, hearts you can always use, can't you? I find, I think I find hearts the easiest icon to use, especially when I'm doing layouts about my doggies or the donkeys at the sanctuary and of course with mum <laughs> so it's uh it's called monkey haven but it used to be called owl and monkey haven so they've, they've got rescued monkeys the gorillas and um quite a few of the ones that they have at that sanctuary are ones that couldn't sub couldn't like live elsewhere so they may have like disabilities things like that and it's hard to house them with other um apes because you know they get bullied or whatever you know there's all different reasons that that's not necessarily the reason but it is a sanctuary where they do take a lot of animals that wouldn't be that have not been able to settle elsewhere so yeah it's uh, the stories are amazing and although it's still called it's called monkey haven now it, they do have owls there as well hence the reason why i'm adding owls to my layout um yeah and it's, yeah, it's a fascinating place to visit. I did feel a little bit guilty. I felt like a little bit of a traitor to my donkeys when I went there. But, you know, <laughs> I'm sure they didn't mind. <laughs> right, this is the last one that I'm going to do. So the last heart that I'm going to use. I've, I've used them all now, I think. So, yeah, just a little bit of randomness going on here just to create my background. Lovely and bright. And, of course, I went with the red for Valentine's. And the yellow for my the coat that I'm wearing in the photo. Right, I think that might be okay. I think I might have smudged it a little bit in places because as you can probably see, I've got a lot of ink on my finger. Which yeah, not a good thing. Should have done, should have used a block, obviously. But I didn't. And it's done now. So <laughs> I'm just wiping my finger on my cloth so my Sorry if the camera's uh, moving a little bit there. Right, so this bit here is going to be for my journaling. I think I might pop that piece there and then these bamboo fox hearts that I've got here, I think I might scatter. 
So I do like to do my top left to bottom right layouts in design, even when I do a double page spread. Um, I'm not sure how that's going to work today because I think I'm going to have some embellishments here as well. <laughs> so I do like to do my top left to bottom right layouts, but I also like to scatter and spread out my embellishments all over the place. So <laughs> it doesn't always stay what I thought I might think what I think I might have done at the beginning when I'm planning the layout so I was planning on popping these here um I've got this lovely heart piece here that I might maybe I could pop that there and then maybe have another one somewhere here maybe here or something just as a just as a loose embellishment there or floating embellishment I've also got this little stamp set that says go big or go home, which, um, yeah, is really relevant for um, Elvis the gorilla here. I think I'll pop this little ampersand onto my journaling piece here before I forget. Pop that there. Um, even though I've got all these gems and things, out, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to use them. And I don't think, I, looking at it now, I don't think I'm going to find a way to use the tassel. I think I'm just happy with like the uh, the background being stamped like that. You know what, I think I could probably do with something here, couldn't I? Bit, I've missed a bit there. I've had to put my blind down because I'm working in the afternoon and the sun comes through in the afternoon. I said before if you watch my videos so it's hard for me to sort of see and also that you get the glare from the sun shining through my leaded windows i don't want that to happen so uh, yeah i can't couldn't quite see that i've missed a bit there and i've missed a bit here as well so i think i'm gonna add a little bit more there try and make sure the hearts the up with the right way i could have done the hearts all different ways but because i've not done that i'm going to uh, Try and stick to keeping them the right way. I think I might pop the title down actually, and we'll see what else we need to do. So I'm putting gorilla on this side and hugs on the other side, and I've, it doesn't matter to me that the title extends further out on the left than the right. I don't mind that at all. And um, if I wanted to send to it, I could send to it with some of the word, some of the letters from the first word going over to the second page. But I would, I actually, pre I prefer to have the one word, um, you know, not separated by the break in the layout there. So I don't know what Moira's was doing for her background basics. We don't tell each other what we're doing. We just, um, we just create the layout and then we each see what each, what the other's done on the actual day that it goes live, which is, as you know, the 16th of the, of the month. Oops, this one's not coming off the back in very easily. Don't want to tear it. Okay, so what I might do is edge that over slightly and try and get the gorilla just above that one photo. I think I quite like that. Quite like that, that, little, that look. So that's Gorilla down. Just make sure that's a little bit straight if we can. Get the rest of the title down here. Oops. Didn't need to do that. I hope you can see the whole layout. I'm sure you can. I did try and raise the camera slightly so that we could see uh, the whole thing. Because um, I, I think I've said it before, I absolutely love doing double page layouts. I don't do them often enough. But if I've got like lots of photos or a big event or a big story to tell, then I definitely like to do a double page spread. Um, but the way I do them is I work on it as one layout. So I'll, I have both pages down and I just work on it as, what, as if I'm working on one page. I think some people probably do them in like separately. But the other thing is, uh, quite often a double page spread is like a mirror image of a let type layout, or, you know, it's very coordinated with the page, the, you know, both pages are very similar. But I don't do that either. I just like create my layout, like I said, as if it's one layout. I don't see it as two separate sides, I just see it as a large layout. <laughs> Everyone does things differently. That's the way I like to do it. 
So I think that's okay there. Gorilla Hugs, title down. And I'm thinking, do I want a flare piece up there? No, I don't. I think I want it there. I didn't mount the photos. I just decided that I liked them on directly on the page without any kind of frame into them because I felt as though the frame into the whole layout was enough. And I, I liked the way that looked. Right, let's get these down. I'm going to have this one probably flat this, not at an angle, and probably have this one at a slight angle like that. Yeah. I tested my white pen on the back of that. <laughs> I think we'll probably do that like that. The possibility I might put the date on there, stamp the date across that bit there. Right. Uh, I've got this go big or go home, haven't I? I was thinking I could probably try and fit that here, but now I've already stamped the heart there. The only other thing I could do is do that in red. I think what I'll do is do that in red, actually. And, and because it is a larger stamp, I will use a block, even though I can't actually see very well. Oh, I'll do it on this side so that the actual um, title doesn't prevent me from getting, a, getting the stamp flat to the page. Right. Let's go. Wrong size stamping block, but that's worked out fine. <laughs> it could have gone wrong, but it didn't. <laughs> yeah, I really like that actually. It's an extension of like the title and it sort of evens it out a little bit as well. Um, the other thing I thought about doing was outlining some of the hearts that I've stamped in red. Just one or two, not, not all of them. Um, I've, oh, I've already got my red pen out, it's there. But what I think I'll do first is get the rest of these things down. So I'll pop that one down there. Or do I want it closer to the photo? I think maybe closer to the photo. And then this one the same. This one's got a lovely scattered heart pattern on it. And I'll have to decide which way I want it to go. I think I'll have it like that. And then um, this one on the top left lovely large flare piece there Oink. yeah now then do what I did I want that to go further over yes I do luckily that adhesive is you know a little bit forgiving to begin with but what I also want to do <laughs> is stamp a heart down in this corner here Sometimes as you, when you're doing a layout, you know, you see things as you go along that you might want to change or add to. And that happens with me quite a lot. Just pop these pieces down here. So I've got all these owls, I think that maybe came from one Bramble Fox box box set. Not sure. Don't usually do add-ons, so I'm thinking that they came in the same sort of theme set. But because I don't very often have a reason to use owls... I thought I would, uh, you know, be generous or extravagant and put them all on one page. And these little white wooden owls as well, I've got a packet of those. And I liked the white one. There were different other colours, but I liked the white one for this page. And I need to get these hearts down here. Just a tiny little bit of glue for each one. Especially the see-through ones. Hopefully that won't show too much. I've already removed the protective pieces that go on the front and the back of these. I try to remember to do that off camera. Right, I'm pleased with that. Now then, do I want any gems on here? Gems. Uh, I don't think I do. No, I'm going to put the date on. I have the date. I've already set the date, so I'll get that on there. Just there, I think. And then uh, I think I will do what I just said I was going to might do and outline one or two of these hearts. No sort of set way of doing it. Maybe just the ones that are not outline hearts, solid hearts. Because the other ones have obviously already got an outline to them. Maybe one of the tiny ones there. This one here. Um, this one. These up here, I think. That one didn't quite stamp clearly. 
it's quite good to outline that one maybe that one in the corner there obviously I'm just doing this quite roughly <laughs> I'm not I'm, no, I'm not good at drawing <laughs> do I need to do one another one over here with it? I think that's okay I think I'll just leave those as they are so that's my Uniborn Fine Gel Pen in red. And the, I'm going to do the journaling in the Jelly Roll 10 gel pen. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to write there yet. Just about mum mom and I having fun at the uh, with Elvis the Gorilla here at the Monkey Haven attraction. So I think we might be finished. Uh, did I stick everything down? I think I did. So white smooth cardstock, yellow textured cardstock. Simple Stories, Colour Vibe Alpha there, flare pieces, Bramble Fox um, acrylic pieces, a little wood owl there, and just tags from my stash. A couple of brads used up there, which is always good. Uh, I've got quite a lot of those in my stash to use, and it's always nice to pick one or two out of those for your layout. So um, as well as using our tools, it's nice to use sort of older stash if we can. Um, don't think too much of this is older stash other than those brads there and the ta tags I've had a long time and that's kind of like a staple piece of part of stash isn't it so once they've gone I will replace them brads probably won't buy brads again in the future I think I've got enough to last me for quite a long time anyway right so yeah so background basic 16 is the hashtag you'll find us on Instagram you'll also find us on uh, Facebook and YouTube so um, yeah, if you just look for that hashtag, hopefully you will be able to find us in different in the different places. And uh, please play along if you you know if you're inclined and use the hashtag, and we'll try and find you, especially on Instagram. Or if you do YouTube as well, just give us a mention or let us know. Drop us a message. Let us know what you're up to, and uh, we'll take a look at your layouts. And hopefully we can inspire you with our uh, using our tools. So um, yeah, thank you for joining me. Stay safe, take care, and I shall see you next time. I'll just do this writing and then I'll put a photo at the end. Thank you.